Okay, in this video I'm going to pick up where we left off um, in my previous one uh, using Qualtrics. In the previous video I was demonstrating how to set up uh, different types of uh, survey questions um, in Qualtrics. And uh, in this one I'm going to show you how you can use the randomizer if you want to um, essentially um, uh, carry out uh, some type of experimental treatment and um, essentially uh, present uh, different stimuli to um, your participants and then have them respond to um, questions or whatever based on the, those uh, differential stimuli. So and then essentially the, the uh, randomizer can be used to randomly assign individuals to um, uh, your different uh, treatment conditions. So I'm going to scroll down and show you where I've already kind of set up uh, a couple of blocks. So uh, the first blocks are all you know survey questions, which again I demonstrated in my previous video. In this one, uh, what I've done is I've just set up uh, a fear condition block, and uh, then a second one is a happy condition. So essentially, randomly assigning to uh, individuals. Uh, who would be taking the survey to either a fear condition or a happy condition. So basically the, stimula the stimulus material is just uh, a scenario. Uh, here I'm just, for fear condition, imagine you're walking down a dark alley at night. There have been reports of three murders in that alleyway in the last two weeks. Please indicate how you would feel. I would feel scared, strongly agree to strongly disagree. I would feel happy, the same sort of um, thing. Uh, so you can see, obviously, we would expect them to be higher on fear than happiness. Um, in the happy condition, imagine your friends throw you a birthday party. You're not, you're completely not expecting this. You find your friends have bought you a new car. Please indicate how you feel. Uh, scared versus uh, happy right here. So obviously we would expect them to be more happy in this kind of condition. So essentially what we're doing is we're setting up different blocks, uh, one block representing each condition. And, um, uh, and then you can also see I have like another question, the last question in the, um, the survey as well. So what I'm going to do to, de to uh, make sure that my participants, when they're filling out the survey, are randomly assigned to um, the happy versus fear conditions, is I'm going to go to survey flow. And uh, you'll find them here. So there you can see right here we have the fear condition and the happy condition. And uh, what we're going to do in this particular case, uh, and, and notice too that you can move uh, these different blocks around, like I can reorder uh, where, uh, uh, when uh, participants are responding to questions from different blocks. Like I just move demographics down uh, to the third block. Uh, I could move, you know, this. Uh, oops, sorry, move this up if I wanted to, and and so forth. I don't want to do that, uh, so I'm going to move um, demographics back up to the top. That's usually where I put them in um, surveys. And then what I'm going to do is if I want to randomly assign individuals to one of these two conditions right here and have them uh, complete the survey items associated with those conditions. But what I can do is go up to the, the block before and click Add Below. So I'm going to click on Add Below. And so now you see that we have a little randomizer uh, that shows up. And so at this point what we'll do is we're going to click on Randomizer and then we're just going to drag our two uh, the blocks containing the two treatment uh, conditions and in this case the uh, uh, re uh, questions uh, to those. So I'm going to click on uh, you know move and then drag it up here, and then I'll do the same thing with a happy condition. I'm going to move it up here as well. And so now you can see it says the randomizer. It says randomly present two of the following elements. Well, I actually only want to present one element because uh, this is a between subjects design. So I'm going to click uh, this right here to go down to one. And then I'm also uh, going to ask for evenly present the elements. So um, I, you know, I want uh, reasonably equivalent proportions uh, respond of my uh, sample responding to the different uh, conditions. Um, so at this point, um, now I, I'm going to go down to the bottom and click on Save Flow. So you can't really see it, uh, but there's a little green button right down here. Uh, there's a cancel button right here, uh, and uh, and uh, but what we want to do is we want to save the workflow and the randomization. So I'm going to click down here, and so now we've saved it. So let's take a preview of our survey. I'm going to go to uh, preview uh, just so we can see it, and you can see that um, you know these are some of the demographics and you know open response questions. Um, these are uh, some of the um, uh, personality items that we had before. I'm just going to click through this. And then now you can see that we have the first of our treatment conditions where we're throwing a birthday party. 
and they're going to respond to these two questions right here. Um, then, uh, you know, I, I, so let's say that I responded, I'll click through. That's the last question in the survey, so I'm going to click out, and it's going to log um, what, what's occurred. Now let's re-preview it. And uh, in this particular case, I'm just going to click right here and go through it. And so now we're walking down the alleyway alone, and we have the murders. And so you respond to those questions, and then um, you know there's the last question in the survey. So you can see that we had essentially, uh, you know, we, we have a randomization process that's taking place, where um, you know if I was two separate individuals, then I would be receiving uh, those two individual uh, uh, those the two individuals would essentially be receiving uh, the different uh, treatments, and then responding to the survey items. Another possibility too is that you could just um, just present the fear condition or the happy condition with the stimulus material only, and then um, theoretically, um, you know, you might have a, a couple of responses, and then you can have sort of a follow-up uh, block that has additional questions related to the stimulus uh, condition that uh, the person was uh, assigned to. So that's just a really quick overview of uh, the randomizer option uh, using Qualtrics.